So about HHR, there has been a change of plans. Let's go talk about it. What's going on guys? Half click up, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Fizz of Friday. So we had discussed the proposition of October 9th, which is a Monday, going to Harris Hill Raceway. And that was going to be with 316 track days. And after some discussion with track buddy Brian, I have uh, decided against it. And the reason why is the point that track buddy Brian made about the current conditions of Harris Hill Raceway. Come to find out, the surface has actually become quite terrible, at least for motorcycles. Um, so, with that being said, we are going to bow out of the October 9th plans, and I figured uh, you guys would want to know, just in case any of you were actually planning on joining us for a track day. And so the new plan is we are going to go to none other than the brand spanking new G2 Motorsports Park located in Anna, Texas. And Anna is up there somewhere north of Fort Worth in that vicinity. Like they all kind of seem to be, right? Crescent is up there. ECR is up there. So that's where we're going to go. And that is the day before the proposed HHR day. This is going to be Sunday, October 8th. And it's with RideSmart. So yeah, man. We're going to hook back up with RideSmart. And uh, sample this brand new track. I'm pretty excited about it. So a little bit about G2. There's not a ton of information available out there as far as rider experience goes, uh, just because it's so brand new. But its length is very comparable to Coda. Uh, it's 3.1 miles. Track Buddy Brian says it is now his third favorite track, with number one being Circuit of the Americas, number two being Eagles Canyon Raceway, and uh, number three being G2 Motorsports Park. <laughs> Uh-huh. Friday traffic, boys. Looks like we're going to avoid the interstate, at least for a couple of on-ramps. So Track Buddy Brian says that G2 is fairly technical of a track. There doesn't seem to be any crazy straightaways. And if there's a track map available, here you go. Pop it up right here for you to look at. Um, the surface is absolutely pristine, as it should be for being a brand new asphalt track. Um, and that's something that I honestly have not really experienced, right? Uh, every track I've been to has had some age to it. Oh, we're already in sixth. <laughs> but, uh, so like MSRH, for example, uh, is notorious for the patchwork that has been done to it. But in my experience at MSRH, I enjoyed that track. I, I mastered it, or I say mastered, I was comfortable with that track fairly quickly and really enjoyed myself throughout the day. And um, I didn't really have trouble adapting to the patches. Uh, it's because as the, the riding coaches explained in the beginning during the track walk, here's where you modify your line in order to avoid such patchwork. And I didn't have any trouble doing that, so I didn't really have an issue at MSRH. But uh, supposedly HHR is worse than that, I guess. That's too bad. However, with that being said, I do still plan on going to HHR. I mean, that would be absolutely tragic to avoid a track altogether um, when our grand quest, of course, is to hit up all the racetracks here in Texas. But and the other thing about it is um, I can really only barely afford two track days in a season, right? So um, we might as well make it count and hit up G2 when it's brand spanking new and experience that. And on the subject of affordability, one of the cool things that RideSmart now does is you can pay half now and half later, which is neat. That's an advantage, man, because track days are not cheap. 
So the G2 in particular is 350 bucks. Um, so you would pay 165 now, and then the difference at 15 days prior to the track day. And so I believe that's precisely what I'm gonna do. Ought to help ease the sting just a little bit. Because don't forget, we still have to rent a trailer and probably get a hotel room. But yeah, very short one today, but hey, I gotta keep you guys updated. So, uh, yep, October 8th, it's a Sunday. G2 Motorsports Park. If you can't make it to be there with me, you'll still be there with me in spirit through the camera lens, guys. I'm gonna vlog the whole thing. You, me, track buddy Brian. Oh, and rumor has it that none other than Rent Moto might be attending as well. Maybe he'll show up in his Aprilia RS660. I guess we'll see. Hey, Red Moto, if you're watching, buddy, drop a comment down below. Let me know what your plans are. Let the people know. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and call this one, guys. If you like the content, smash the like button. And hey, smash the like button if you're excited for another track day at a brand new racetrack this time. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, this has been me, and that's been you. It's half click up. I will catch you on the next one, guys. Peace and goodbye.